Someone just told me to tell you to stop ch Did I did did relax chat? Well, I can do that. Yes, yes, honey. What do you need, Kayla? Yes, I'm. Oh, okay, I'll be right there. I was making a joke because okay. yeah. Greek is really cute. <laughs> Greek, Greek, mm -hmm. is Greek is gorgeous. You know what? Greek, you know Greek what? This really Greek cute. was in love with me. Like I would do him, but I think he's he's not so big. Like... Wait, wait. You you said if he was in love with you, you would do him? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Greek. Greek, get in here. Greek, oh my God. Greek this is why we need you on the roster. Somebody shit. clip that moment. Clip that moment. No. We need it. We need you on the roster next, so Greek. Dumb. Like so. As this is exactly what I predicted was going to happen on the Raj podcast. I have a fucking five head, dude. Fucking five head. What's up? So just saying. <clears throat> Should you delete the tweet? Okay, cool. Let me uh, hang on. Let me just. Uh... All right. Did she really? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I used to love this show. Shame it got canceled. Hmm. Too vague. <laughs> Bro, you're such fucking. <laughs> oh, no, this guy, dude. See, normally, if you go one on one with another wrestler, you got a 50 50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me and he's not even going to try. So Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one on one and then add 66 and two thirds percents, I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. Today and me. <clears throat> He said, I'm so sick of it. You can literally, okay. I, show for I told him uh, he was getting mad at me for the shit that I was saying on stream. You know, like seeing that Canoe could slam me through a wall sexually and stuff like that. Some dumb fucking shit. Literally, he's saying to me, this, the slut shit is unattractive. The cocaine shit is unattractive. Your attitude is shit. You need to grow the fuck up. This is a top donator, by the way. This is not my fucking friend. This is not my fucking boyfriend. This is the guy that donates to my fucking stream and thinks that he's entitled to shit. Are you fucking ready for the rest of it? I said, this is for a show. That's it. He said, it's not, though. Like I said, you always lie. It's bullshit. I said, okay, getting mad about the Raw show is ridiculous. Can you imagine that guy? Guys, can you imagine some random person donating to your fucking stream and then getting mad about a show that you're on? Insane. How you doing? Yeah, you're nice to the ladies, aren't you? No, that's my cup holder. That's my cup holder. <laughs> no! It took my cup holder! No! What the fuck? Give me my cup holder back! <laughs> this did not happen!
my god. Oh my god. I pulled my hamstring. Yes. <laughs> Two. One. Brad, yeah. Hold, hold it up and show them. Look. Show them what you show got. Show them the thing. Look at look at Brad. Four hundred fifty dollars. There it is, Chad. So go, they've got their golden bees, and Chad, only a few people have those. <gasps> <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Who <gasps> is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, my broveries right now. <laughs> Why are you making that face so much? Do you see your face? Yes. Look at your face. <laughs> Brad, look. <laughs> Who's that? Now he's looking at us. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you know what, Sammy? I've had bad enough of this. Not you do not go to your shit. You do not sleep. You do not rest. You do not sit your head on a pillow. You don't sit. You don't fucking eat. You cook my shit and you don't clean. Get your ass back. What happened? This here? is the story and it's a hundred percent the story and it's just not a very light-hearted story so that's why i've never told it on raj uh it's quick it's only like maybe 20 seconds um we used to live together and he cheated on me multiple times one day i came home to the apartment completely empty he stole everything uh literally my bed frame my couch my tv my tv stand everything in the fridge like just was in a moving truck and was driving to vegas and I called the cops and I said, hey, like, he stole everything. Uh, like, what do I do? And they came over and they, like, talked to me for a second. They're like, well, do you have receipts for your couch? And I was like, no, I bought it, like, a year ago. And they're like, well, sorry. Like, it's, like, there's no proof. Like, so, you know, you live together. Like, his name was on the lease. So uh, it's fucking his. Like, and uh, he cheated on me, like, three or four times. And so it's just, like, one of those shitty things. Uh, he also used to beat me. And he broke my rib cage. He... A fractured my eye socket at one point mm. like he was just a really bad guy so and i'm not like proud of it but the only way i could feel any sort of like way to get back at him was he left like a blanket and some hoodies at the house so i i have a friend that's in pest control company i had him get some bed bugs and i put it in the box i shipped to him and that's it that's the story so yes it was a shitty thing to do but also like it was my one way to feeling like i got fucking revenge in some way for all the shit that he had done to me because i couldn't do it like you know like it's silly but like it's stupid but i did it and whatever like everybody has been doing so well everybody is there genuine friends people who are there for each other and i i cannot wait i cannot wait to see what the future holds this last year has been incredible. And there's been so many incredibly fun things that we've gotten a chance to do together. Fuck. And we're going to keep doing a lot of that stuff. With you, with E-Rob, with everybody. So congrats on one year. And thanks for being one of my best friends. Oh, fuck. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Stop driving this way. It's a really bad idea. Too late. We're committed. <laughs>